Well, here is what the remainders of my SMX F50, which I tore apart to try and solve the problem on and kind of didn't do a very good job of. Got fingerprints all over the lens. And I will go back together because I accidentally broke the front connector for the lens cover. But that doesn't matter because if I can actually get it working properly again, um, I'm going to, I have something in mind for it. But the problem is, is that the camera LCD does not work at all. Um, I don't have a battery, a battery, yeah, a battery for it. So I'm going to have to figure out some kind of USB battery charging method. Um... Or I'm going to have to figure out how to jerry-rig in a, um, a battery charger for it. I'm sure I'll figure out something. I might power it off of the USB of that, but I'm planning on using it as a cheap and low-end security camera. Um, but let's go ahead and try this. I need to find the battery, which should be behind here. I'm going to take this downstairs, and I'm going to uh, hook it up to the old Toshiba CRT TV, so... Let's go and do that, which is actually the reason why I have the cable. Well, it looks like our TV here is kind of in use, and I don't want to unplug anything. But considering we actually got a new Samsung flat panel over there, and we still have the old TV here, I'm going to hook that up and we're going to see if we can get it to work. Alright, if you can't see what I'm doing, please excuse the terrible lighting, and also excuse the mess. I'm not going to uh, do anything about this, because it isn't my mess, so, yeah. Any derogatory comments regarding the mess will be deleted instantly. I saw a spark, which usually indicates that there's a power, power going to something. Let's see if she fires up. Yep, she does. Let's put it into video signal, which I can't do from anything but the remote, so let me go find the remote. Well, I didn't find the T. Oh, there it is. All right, found the remote. Um, let's see if it works. It works. Uh, TV video. The front signal should be video three. It up to that. So then under that setting, grab my cable, plug the cables in, and the last thing that we need to do is, after that, is see if she will fire up. Let's plug in these cables. The audio I don't particularly care about, but we'll hook it up anyways. So let's hook up, well, let's put the battery in the camera first. I don't smell anything abnormal. Hopefully this works. Let's plug this in the right way. Oops. the TV go off. I'm going to turn the volume down. Whoops, that's the TV channel. Zero, one, two. So we'll put it on two, switch the video and put back to where it was. Power the camera on and see what goes boom. Yep, there we go. Holy crap. It's bright as hell. Date and time set. GMT 500 is pretty close. Uh, it's not January 1st, but I don't particularly care. Holy God. Um, so obviously this camera does not actually function. As you can clearly see, uh, that's kind of really freaking bright. Um, does it give me a message? Insert memory card. What do I get on the menu? Let's try getting a memory card and let's see what it does. Alright, got myself a card. 
see what she does. You can definitely see what I'm doing, but this is really hard on my eyes. I can't insert the card. Doesn't respond to a power switch. Let's just yank the battery. And thus ends the strobing because I have to. Insert this stupid card and. Okay, the card's in. Let's plug in the. Uh... Oops, screw fell out. See if she still works. Whoops. What helped was you put the battery in. I think I turned it on. Nope. Comes up. Not even gonna bother. Let's see what happens. Card error, so it can't read the card. Um, I can't switch modes, can I? Obviously, this camera does not work. It's going right back where it came from. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a huge error here. Huge problem. I don't even know what happened. It fell off my desk, and then all of a sudden, it doesn't work at all. The uh, the fall actually was hard enough to, um, because it landed on, it hit off of, what was it that it hit off of? It hit off of something. I don't know if it was the actual, it was the metal um, thing itself, or if it was a keyboard, or if it was something else. I don't know. Or if it was just the impact of it hitting the ground, but it knocked the battery out. It was strong enough to knock the battery out, so obviously I'm pretty sure it was probably more than strong enough to do something like this, but obviously there is a problem. I can barely see this, so thus ends this experiment. I'm going to pull the battery and um, hunk this in the trash because it has no other purpose. Be careful what I touch because I don't want to go the way of the dodo bird here. Yet another item added to my shelf of dead things. How you doing? You doing good? I think you are. Anyways, so uh, there you have it. Uh, I don't know where I put it, but the cable will be useful for something. I'm sure I'll find a use for it. If I can uh, graft this, take this end off, I can probably um, jury-rig it up as a uh, patch cable or something. Um, because do remember here that I have these, which kind of don't work very well. I only really need one of them. I have two of these. I might end up using this as just like a patch cable or something. Oops. Anyway, um, so that's going to have to be cut. I might cut up another one of those and turn it into a patch cable when I can find the necessary pieces. This has to go into the battery drawer because you kind of can't throw batteries away. Um, which, by the way, you shouldn't be doing anyway. You should never throw away batteries. Dispose of them as if they're hazardous waste because they kind of are. Battery acid is not good for the environment, and I know I'm going to have a whole bunch of people come at me for that, but the fact of the matter is, they're not, and that's that. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. This is uh, CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then.